What's going everyone? It's Liam Catterson here and we're reacting to another episode of The Vampire Diaries as we get into episode two, um, which I really enjoyed how the first episode really established things. Uh, it was just a really, really great starting point. Uh, I was uh, really entertained and uh, yeah, it was really great how we had that uh, nice focus, uh, nice setup with both humans and vampires with Damon and Stefan and uh, of course Elena and one of her ancestors that uh, Stefan seems to have or, or had, should I say, past tense an attachment to and uh, obviously uh, there, might, there might be a little case of history repeating uh, itself. Um, so yeah, it was really, really great stuff, as well as all of the other characters as well that I guess fit the human criteria. So uh, yeah, it was really, really great stuff. Um, I just felt entertained going through that first episode, and I'm excited to see what episode two has in store. So with that said, let's get into episode two of season one for The Vampire Diaries. Let's go. There's no rain, it's there. No, it's raining blood! It's literally raining blood! Someone decided, no, nah, I'll make it rain blood. I was gonna say, did you have your keys with you? You just took it from that guy, that vampire, and then decided to just toy around with it there. I feel good. You know how she went, yeah, it's different from, I'm, I feel fine, Do I, I feel like good. As in respectfully parental? It depends where you're going. Jeremy's parent-teacher conference. Her up or down? Up. Now the comet will be its brightest right after dusk during tomorrow's celebration. Are we bothering you? Mr. <laughs> Salvatore. <laughs> Pay attention. Oh, <laughs> he reads the room like, I see what's going on here. Run it. And that comment seems to be important. Do they know what attacked her? Is she gonna make a full recovery? I mean, was she happy to see you? What room number was she? Oh in? no. I'm gonna kick your ass. Oh you no. When you gonna actually do it? Yeah, he's he's he he, he right thinks here, right now. it's all him. Oh boy. Oh boy. Walk away, Gilbert. It's your final warning. No, this is your final warning, Dick. I'm sick of watching Ooh. you play. If you. I know. Now there's talk of some missing campers. Did she say mm -hmm. so? Yeah, he's thinking, Damon, what the fuck are you doing? She said it was a vampire. What? <laughs> oh boy! Okay. Oh, no! 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 Look, and I feel so bad for this dude. It was an animal that attacked you. It came out of the night and jumped you. You blacked out. Oh shit! That's all I remember. An animal attacked you. You blacked out. It's all you remember. That's all I remember. Oh my god, he's, he, he, yeah, ooh, that's a bit, it was, that's a bit risky. You know, a, a hospital is going to be a really, really bad place for Stefan to be at. One of the worst places he could be at. Share this month. we just talked for hours. Okay, what is with the blockage? Just... Jump his bones already. Whoa! Wait, boy what? likes girl. Girl likes boy. Sex. Girl found. <laughs> Not always like that. For a while. Never lasts, though. Hey, I'm not saying I wouldn't love to rail back and kick it, but with a thesis looming and a waistline expanding... Oh, he's not. Yeah, he's not hearing it. Oof. suspect anything why wouldn't i check on you i mean I'm, I'm the one who found you you are yeah he carried you out of the woods oh are we going to Thank you. yeah are we gonna potentially have this yeah. and, and maybe for for jeremy this might be a push in the right direction i mean obviously he's been struggling but this if if the if this is given a chance a bright future for jeremy maybe Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Oh, oh, no. You can stay away from her. Get a job. I I'm sorry for barging in. Nearly destroyed him. The last one? I'm guessing yeah, ancestor. Oh, 
nearly destroyed him. Oh, you two haven't had the awkward exes conversation yet. You dickhead! Oops, well, I'm sure it'll come up now. Or maybe he didn't want to tell you. Poor Elena's like, I am feeling uncomfortable with the energy in this room today. Great down. Death lock he's given oh, David. Spunk. You, on the other hand, look pooped. Yeah, Did you're you here. yourself today? Matt. Thing is, he's here as well. Oh boy. Daddy. Oh, blood! I. About there. Is that what you're calling it? What do you mean? You think it's a set? All I'm hearing is reasons why you can't. Hmm. It's all about take that opportunity whilst you can. The way he just stands there, though, is just so menacing. Did she not just see that? Or was it just like she just literally blinked and then... What is Damon doing here? Well. Oof. Thank you. Is this, uh... Oh, it's, it, it's like passing on the baton because Matt was the ex and now... Oh, boy. To apologize for it. Mm. Yesterday that wasn't about you. Okay? You didn't tell me that you had a brother. Yeah, because he's a dick. Don't want to talk about him. <laughs> it's complicated. All Family sucks. Not Zach, though, apparently. Oh my no! Oh shit! I can't find her. She probably found some. Hey, I saw you at the hospital yesterday. Oh no! Oh no! What were you doing there? Oh no! Visiting. <laughs> Visiting. Stefan Salvatore did this to you. Stefan Salvatore did this to me. <sighs> You, this oh my, oh monster. my, you please, are- David, don't, please don't do this. You couldn't fix it before. I don't know what you're gonna do now. He is literally making things worse. You can feed and make her forget. Or you can let her run screaming vampire through the town square. That's what this is about. He, he you shoved him, me? yeah, he shoved him in a corner. No, I want you to remember who you That vampires have returned to Mystic Falls. Let them chain me up. Return to Mystic Let them drive Falls. A in my heart. Because at least I'll be free of you. Oh. Told. <laughs> oh, she's gonna die, isn't she? Wow. I took some pills, man. <laughs> I'm good. It's just so insane this level of influence that you can have on home. someone. I think I might stay a while. No, please don't. This town can use a bit of a wake up call, don't you think? <sighs> what happened to you? Oh, shh. That's, that's so rude. <laughs> it was so um, okay, that could. Yeah, she kind of wakes out. Like her thing. Yeah, but that could be problematic. This is just the fear talking. You're a little scared, that's all. Which is understandable. And there you go. There you go. A little scared. We all are. It's like she's speaking um, about herself there as well. Oh, cripes. Well, this is definitely going to help Jeremy further, isn't it? I met a girl. We talked. It was epic. Then the sun came up. In reality, so then. It wasn't a dream. It wasn't... Oh, this is reality. Yeah. It, it's happening. Right here. Come on, kiss. 
Get with the kiss, get with the kiss, get with the kiss, there it is. Happy times. Reality. Beautiful. Oh shit! No, that's not kinky. Fuck off. That's not kinky. No. Uh, yeah, 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 yeah. Well, this is going to be great now, isn't it? Um, oh boy. But yeah, she did embrace that, like, uh, she did embrace that, like, uh, for Lena. In, like she took that leap of faith really and it really is heartbreaking when she made the mention of uh, if I allow myself to, my, uh, to be happy then it will all come crashing down there's that customization to the pain really but thankfully she uh, has taken this chance it's what you should really do really um, before it just you know f um, I guess floats away and, and all of that but yeah, it was a nice continuation of um, of what episode one established. Um, more animosity between the brothers was really nice to see. Well, I say it was really nice to see, pardon me. Um, Damon is like, I mean, you got a really, really, um, you know, bad impression of him in the first episode. But this episode, he t just took it to new heights. So, and you felt so bad for Vicky through this episode, but yeah, I've really enjoyed going through this episode. Yeah, another great inclusion for the Vampire Diaries, which has me getting more and more uh, invested with uh, the show. I know it's only like two episodes out of like, well, how many others are out there for uh, not just this show, but of course the originals, but um, I mean, first impressions are always a very, very, very important factor, and uh, the first impressions so far has been uh, positive in terms of um, how I've been uh, going with these uh, first couple of episodes. It's been a really, really exciting journey. I know I was warned on Patreon about the prospect of, um, you know, there might be um, cheesy writing and all of that. Like, I'm cheesy myself, so it's okay. But, um, you know, it's not going to be off-putting and whatnot. Um, so, I mean, I've gone through quite a lot of cheese i guess i could say my tenure of uh, reacting and all of that so um and um you know for the first uh, couple of episodes i'd say um you know dialogue and all of that has been pretty pretty neat uh, so far for me so um and, and just everything in general has just been pretty pretty great so um it's been pretty pretty dark it's been pretty pretty um ominous as well like especially when you've got the Damon and Stefan debacle and of course um certain situations like the whole Catherine dilemma like what is going on with Bonnie because obviously we know that she's been having um certain kinds of visions um happening um and um it's going to be very interesting I, I am very curious to see what she saw in Stefan because um, she did, she, well, she didn't see anything too pleasant, we can kind of assume that, uh, as well as what she followed up with after, um, you know, visibly seeing the distress on her face, so yeah. Um, but yeah, again, the whole Matt and, uh, the, the well, Matt I do feel so bad for, um, but not as much as the last episode. I feel like he got cut a bit of a break, but given the whole situation with Vicky, yeah, um, so, not gonna lie though, I thought she would die in this episode, uh, especially with how Damon was, um, ridiculing Stefan, um, he was just, ugh. I mean, if you, if, 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 you were pissed off with his antics in the first episode and of course the first episode gives you a good impression so it's like oh this guy he's gonna be a dick isn't he then uh yeah this episode really stepped things up a notch because not only did he try to throw his uh brother under the bus uh in front of elena um by mentioning about you know the ex aka catherine aka ancestor so yeah, and of course, when that fully unravels, that's going to be hella awkward, isn't it? But 
he also tried to go um he tried to go to Stefan into feeding on Vicky um to like if you're so worried about the exposure of your people then you could just make you just 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 you know have a bit of that humanity uh and um yeah you could make her forget and all of that so but he's not going to stoop to that level so um and you know there is such an arrogance in 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 uh, Damon's character uh, because of that strength he harbors over um, Stefan because of the fact that he is the stronger brother and he doesn't have to worry about any kind of consequences uh, in this episode um, or or it just in general should I say because of the fact that he, well we saw throughout the episode like with the hospital visit with um, Stefan listening out when um, he first heard the mention of oh Vicky said she was attacked by a vampire and but then they don't exist and he's like oh shit yeah he 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 is worried he, like he was breaking it like in terms of the exposure of of vampires and all of that so um, but I also really do feel like it chalks down to you know how is Damon gonna react. Because he's got to up the ante in terms of, you know, killings and all of that. Because we we saw those two camping in the middle of the forest, which I would not have done, but you do you. Um, and then, of course, the last episode, uh, and of course, what happened to Vicky. So, uh, things are just going to probably escalate if the existence of vampires was out in the open. So, um, but I do feel like he is turning those people that we're seeing in the in the beginning portion, maybe... Uh, except for the ones that are visibly dead. I don't know. But with Caroline, yeah. She's either dead or she's going to get turned. Um, which is going to... I feel like she, it's going to be the latter, especially with that kind of dynamic between the two. I mean, yeah, it's been short, but there seems to be, like, crumbs that seem to spell out that, okay, well, we're going to see... Um, like some heavy interactions between Damon and Caroline. Um, so, um, and you know, they, they did get a bit intimate before, um, Damon did really get intimate. So, yeah. Um, so yeah, but it was really, really great stuff though. Um, like I said, this episode, uh, we got the kiss with Elena and, uh, and, uh, Stefan. So all well and good. Of course there was a bit of hesitation there. Um, and, you know, Damon didn't really help matters whatsoever by throwing Stefan under the bus. But, um, yeah, um, she took that leap of faith, really. And, and like I said, uh, after the episode, it does really, really break your heart about her, uh, about the, uh, about her message about the fact that, well, we saw through the last episode, she kept putting up the I'm fine approach. Um, I'm fine. I'm not fine. And then we opened up on this episode feeling, I feel good. Which is giving you that indicativeness of, well, this is strands better than how she was feeling in the first episode because of her interactions with Stefan and things are all hunky-dory. Except they it took a bit of a dive, but they seem to be on the upper again, um, especially after Stefan's comforting words uh, with, with um, Elena just spilling everything out, really. So, uh, in regards to her fear. So... Um, yeah, um, and, and you know, like I said, it is really, really sad because obviously there's been a lot of pain that has been plaguing, um, not just her, but her brother as well. And we, you know, picked up on that quite a bit because, of course, he's not going to be as big as Elena, but, he, uh, you know, his issues still are valid in regards to the struggles that he is facing with his drug addiction and of course his aunt is getting in hot water and, and is um struggling so yeah but um you know that stems from the pain of losing uh her pa uh, or his parents should i say um like i said with elena and jeremy they're both struggling really and They've just been dealing with this pain. So this moment of happiness is just surreal, isn't it? So it's it's kind of mirroring to what um, Stefan mentioned about I saw the sunlight and, and reality sunk in. It's like, I, is this moment of happiness a reality? Is it like, I, I, I am not accustomed to, to happiness. And that is a really, really sad, uh, sad approach, really, because you saw Elena make the mention of 
Um, I'm, the whole world's going to come crashing down if I allow myself to be happy for one moment. So, yeah, it just really speaks volumes about that pain, really. Um, but, yeah, um, it is going to be very, very... Uh, I, I, it is going to be very interesting to see how things are going to... Um, um, how things are going to be. I will say, though, because I didn't make the mention of this in the last episode, but um, I really, really do love the, the visualization of when you're vamping up, I guess. Um, the whole... It, it, like, I've obviously seen how, of course... Um, oh, hang on. I've obviously um, seen how, of course... Um, Vampires have their game face on in shows like Buffy the Vampire Slayer, for example. Um, and, you know, it, it is good and it does look really, really good. Oops, uh, watch it there. Uh, in, uh, you know, present day time. Um, but I do love the decayed look. There, there, there seems to be a decay, which, you know, for vampires, um, um, it, it's, it, it, it's appropriate given the fact that they are technically deceased. So, yeah. But there is this kind of decayed look that they have on them. And I really, really do love that. So, um, yeah, um, it, it, is, it is a really, really good look that they have. Uh, this whole, like, um, blackening of the skin and that. So, uh, as if, you know, you're showing the, uh, the decayed uh, kind of form of you, really. So, yeah. Um, but yeah, uh, I'm really intrigued to see how uh, this show is going to progress further. It was just really great. Um, especially, you know, just focusing on the dynamic between Damon and Stefan. Um, so, um, and of course, you just have the differences between Def uh, Damon and Stefan's character because of the fact that um, Damon doesn't care whatsoever. He uh, has, he, he doesn't really have anything to hold him back. Um, and, um, yeah, he, he, he just has no shame, no consequences, like, there are no consequences for him. Whereas Stefan's just trying to be better, and, of course, there's the factor of his past, which pains him, and he's just trying to be better, he's trying to, um, you know, uh, he's trying to seek that compassion. So... Yeah, um, but I, like I said, I was really, like, when it came to that rooftop scene, I thought he was going to absolutely, uh, uh Damon, I thought he was going to absolutely, uh, throw Vicky off the, uh, rooftop, so, just to continue his bad influence, really, in terms of, um, how he is on this show, really, so, uh, but he decided to cater to, to Stefan, so, um, yeah, but I am really intrigued to see the, the like, little, I guess, can mouse game, maybe? Um, uh, on, like, connection to um, whatever plans Damon has, really. So, um, and I feel like Caroline is the latest in terms of fitting into to Damon's plan. So, yeah, we'll have to wait and see. But, no, just, it's, it was really, really good. Um, I really loved, uh, of course, the focus with uh, Vicky and how she, of course she was struggling uh, with those dreams and, and the visions of, of Damon she had um, and that hospital scene that Stefan you know when he went through the hospital you know if you're trying to be a benevolent vampire um, it's one of the worst places you could really be in right like if you're not wanting to feed off humans I mean it obviously he's still feeding off blood off uh, you know animals and all of that but for humans if if human blood is off your dietary uh, menu and you just if you're just in a hospital it is one of the worst places for you to be in right because it's just like a buffet of blood really so um, and, and you saw the struggles, like, oh, shit, there's all this blood, and he had to bolt, so, yeah. I also really kind of loved the kind of, uh, I don't know, there's, there, there was, of course, a little bit of intensity between Matt and, 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 uh, Stefan. Um, you know, f f uh, an ex-boyfriend to current love interest and all of that, so, yeah. Um, especially now that, uh, like... I mean, it was already bad enough that um, Elena has eyes on on um, Stefan. So, you know, with Matt 
it's just going to melt even further. But of course, he saw the um, you know Stefan in the hospital when Vicky's there, and they, and he got a bit curious. So intriguing stuff. Uh, I'm sure uh, you know them two are not going to clash uh, in the future, right? Yeah, uh, great stuff though. Really enjoyed this uh, episode. Uh, nice um, way for me to continue really enjoying uh, the show in terms of my first impressions uh, because the first episode really rocked and uh, this episode was a neat follow-up. So, uh, you know, first impressions with these first two episodes have been really, really great. I mean, you know, you want to have a good first vibe. You want to have a good vibe with the first episode, um, but you don't want that to be like a one-hit um, wonder and then the rest of the episodes just tank um, so yeah obviously it's still a bit early days and of course uh, you know these next few episodes are still going to be very very um, or these next several episodes should I say um, are going to be very very um, um, I'd say impactful in terms of you know me finding the gel like how I'm gonna gel with the show so uh, but you know so far it with these first two episodes really really solid start so awesome uh, so I will see you guys next time hope you guys enjoyed this reaction you can check my videos on the right if you want to check out more of my content you can also subscribe to my media feeds and channel if you want to hope you guys enjoyed this reaction hope you guys take care and I'll see you guys next time